Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm starting my vlog outside in the garden. It's such a crisp, you can't see my breath, crisp morning and I've made myself a cup of tea. And you can hear the birds. This is so nice. I have been meaning to get out in the garden for a while and I thought today was a good day because it is predicted to rain but not for a while so I thought I'm going to crack on and try and get a head start with some planting and some organising in the garden because I feel like <laughs> winter has been a bit bleak and miserable so getting a good start before the warmer weather. Hopefully things cross come soon although March, it always snows on my mum's birthday which is March 10th and if it does snow then usually then it's warm weather for the rest of spring so hopefully hope, I mean apparently there's been some snow in Bristol and Bath in England so let me know how the weather has been where you are. The shed needs some serious TLC because well <sighs> as you know the roof is completely caved in <laughs> so that's some kind of job we need to do today whether I just try and patch it up again with some tarpaulin or try and get some supplies. I'm gonna go to the garden center and grab some more plants. I'm gonna build the shelves in the shed. Yeah, let's try and get it a bit more organized, ready for spring, which hopefully won't be very long. Lovely brew. I can just out here with me as well. <laughs> so these are the spring daffodils that I planted. Now, obviously they've died off because they only bloomed the once, but we're keeping it in the pot for now and then we're gonna replant them so that um, they'll grow back next year. So that's the plan. Rosemary's still doing very well, but um, I think that's going to need a bigger pot soon because it is grown. And then Zara planted these at the weekend. How beautiful are they? They're so colourful and pretty. She put Maggie's little spinning <laughs> pinwheel in there as well. They look absolutely gorgeous. So they will spread, um, obviously, when they grow in time. But, yeah, I think they're so pretty. So that's Zara's contribution. But we've got lots of spare plant pots lying around. And the trees that Ewan gave us, the shrubs, are starting to grow some more heads as well. Look at these, they're really getting some amazing height. So these are going to be really gorgeous to get in the ground as well. So we've got two of these from Ewan. And then obviously I showed you before, we've got all of the ones that Zara's aunt and uncle gave us that we need to also plant in the ground too. And we've moved the olive tree away from the side of the house because it got completely blown over so we've moved it to the back door just to give it a bit more shelter but i'll show you that in a second i do think we need to get some kind of fox repellent because unfortunately the fox has chewed off the start of a really lovely plant here which is really frustrating unless it was maggie maggie is very intrigued about the plants but um yeah wherever the fox scent is she seems to go as well so might need to look into that maybe getting some apparently um lavender spray works really well so that might be an idea, but um, yeah, there's just bits and bobs to do. It's a lot to think about. Oh, we're currently using the old lawnmower and strimmer to keep the door closed on the shed. Let me show you. A couple of you said that the shed was salvageable. Now, the bottom hinge is completely snapped off, so that's issue number one. So that's easily fixable, but I'll show you inside. It's essentially where it hasn't been watertight, the water's kind of like rotted through. So this is all completely just flimsy. Yeah, there's been ivy going through. We've got a second hole now, which is really great. <laughs> the actual beams look like they're in fairly okay nick, but I think this roof is just a ticking time bomb and it's just not really watertight. But for now, what I'm gonna do is build these once I'm back from the garden center. Yeah, just try my best to get some kind of organization going on here because this is stressing me out. <laughs> if you know me, I like organization and this, this is not organized. So we're gonna try and get some sense of something in here. We literally just dumped it all when we moved. So yeah, I mean, in terms of a shed roof, it's, it's out there with the worst. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, I've never actually gone behind the back of our shed. Is that mint? No. Oh, I thought that was a mint tree. We've got another tree behind our shed. I didn't realise that. Let's have a look. And this is where the foxes keep on coming in through the back. So we've got this really big tree here that we try to kind of like stop them coming in through the side just with some offcuttings of tree, but it didn't really work. And we put a bit of chicken wire in as well, um, just to try and block off that side. But yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's not great, and it's just a very temporary fix. And we've also got a sofa bed that was left from the previous um, owners or tenants so that's not fab either oh look a bit of chewed horse pipe as well with some astroturf so yeah this is 
it, this is probably the worst part of the garden behind here, so I think what we'll end up doing is just completely removing the shed, using more of this space because this is wasted space at the moment. Maybe pop a fence panel up at the back and then um, yeah, level this out. Obviously, we do have the tree roots to contend with, but yeah, the shed is um, I mean, it's just pretty much on its on its last legs. So the plan is I'm going to repot these and give these plant pots back to Zara's aunts and uncles so they can repurpose those. I'm actually excited to be out in the garden because I love the fact that we've got some outdoor space. I'm going to be listening to some music as well, which I think is so nice to do when you are gardening. I've recently been using this speaker. This is the Soundcore Boom 2 speaker by Anchor, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. and. I've been using this for a couple of days now and I'm genuinely so, so impressed. It's a completely wireless speaker, has the carry handle on top, but the sound quality is superb. There's such cool features on this. Let me play you a song real quick. So you know I like a bit of jazz. I'm gonna be very considerate of the neighbors. You can hear. Absolutely mega. So the base up 2.0 technology really just makes that sound feel so crystal clear and so luxurious. Even though I'm outdoors, it's great. And obviously the carry handle means I can take it on the go and it actually has some light on the side to coordinate with the sound. So nice. It has a charge out feature as well, so you can plug your phone in. So if I'm out here and my battery looks like it's about to die from filming content, you can just charge it up. And like all British weather, if it does start to rain, then it's waterproof and floatable thanks to the IPX7 technology. So I can literally just dunk it in the ground. It's been raining today. And it's fine, I can just crack on. You also get up to 24 hours playtime on this as well, so one charge is gonna last you a fairly long while. So I'm gonna leave a link to the Soundcore Boom 2 by Anchor speaker in the description box. And if you sign up to the website before March 11th, you can get a code sent to you that gets you a free pair of the earbuds as well. And I've tested them out, they are brilliant. I'm gonna pop them in when I head to the garden center. I'm honestly so impressed with this. I'm excited to come back and get cracking with some gardening. So the neighbours opposite us are currently having their loft done. They're having a whole roof dormer extension. And it's very inspiring. The builders have been working for the past four days and I'm watching them do it thinking, wow. I mean, I know it's not a quick job, but it's very interesting. I feel like we're getting first hand view of what it looks like. And if we choose to do it, what we're in for. And it's, yeah, it's looking like a lot. Anyway. I'm going to quickly pack up a bag and head in the car and head to the garden centre. Okay, so I've just made it to the garden centre and I'm going to listen to some music when I'm having a browse. So I'm going to pop in the Soundcore V30i Buds. These are great and they're going to be so handy for the marathon as well because they've got the over ear hooks. So you can literally clip them on your ears and they're not going anywhere. Fully connected. Let's go have a look at some plants. Okay, so there are a lot of plants to choose from. I think what I'm gonna go for is four big beer plants, something kind of similar to this, just to add a bit more greenery, but something quite robust, and then plant some more shrubs around it. And um, that's the plan. Although I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna get some pots to start. I think I need to get a trolley, because I'm not gonna be able to carry all these around with me. Here we are. Trolley at the ready. Okay, so I've got two of these box shrubs to start, and these plant pots are all reduced, except this one, which I think is absolutely stunning. It's got such a nice like, crackle glaze on it. I think the contrast of these colours is going to be lovely. And obviously we need to get some to actually plant in the borders once we dig them up. So these will be started in the pots and then finished in the ground. I'm going to get some of these pot feet as well. They are 149. I think these will be good just for the drainage and obviously to help keeping them off the cold. So I'm going to get three of those maybe some smaller ones as well. These planting baskets are so nice. I love these. I don't think they'd cope well in the water, but really good price as well, 30 pounds for those. And they're lovely. They add like a nice rustic touch to your garden. I need a lot of restraint because I feel like there's a lot of plants I actually don't know 
um, the four ins and outs of. But what I'm going to do is peel off the labels and keep them in a book so I can reference the um, blooms and also like what ground they need and soil and drainage and like how fertile the soil needs to be. So yeah, that's probably a good tip. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll probably forget what I bought. This is what the trolley is currently looking like. The beer trees are actually reduced by 20 pounds. They were supposed to be 59. At least, uh, 39 and this obviously will last as long as it can keep it alive which I hope is a very very long time it's got a gorgeous new leaves too it's all looking very green and just so alive it's currently raining and I've just got some lovely music playing in my earbuds I feel very relaxed I just love a garden centre I feel like it's just such a nice thing to do but yeah planting in the rain is going to be interesting <laughs> so hopefully it'll quiet down by the time I'm back but yeah I'm just honestly I'm loving learning about all the different um, plant names as well because knowledge I've never really had, but I, I will get better at it. These are lovely as well. These red roosters just look so wild and really good for fillers as well. Useful. I will need to invest in some gardening tools pretty soon, but for now, we're just going to keep them in pots until we turn over the garden, so then we can start doing things like bulbs. Tending to sway more towards like a natural garden, so whites and greens. Things like this would be beautiful. Two dahlias. And they've got all of the culinary bulbs as well. We've got onions and shallots, potatoes, horseradish. Even some lovely rhubarb as well. How lovely is that? So I've grabbed some olive tree feed because I cannot let the olive tree die from Christine and Simon. That was their gift to us and they've been growing it for years. So that's that. And then I'm going to get some of this all-purpose food as well for the plants. We would love like an outdoor chimney or some kind of like log fire pit. I think that would be so nice to sit around. You could toss some marshmallows. It would be so lovely. That's what we're most excited about once we get the garden done. But we need to do the groundwork first and then all of these will be either kept in pots or planted in the ground. I don't know how this happened, but we have acquired a lot of plants. <laughs> Oh, lovely stuff. Right, now let's go back, hatch a plan, and fix the shed roof. Got Maggie's seal of approval. <laughs> Look at that tail, are you happy with all the plants? Right, I'm back from the garden centre, and there was a heavy downpour, but it stopped, so that is great news. Maggie's loving the plants. Aren't you, you're having a good old sniff. Right, oh gosh, look at that. I will need to head out to a DIY store in just a second. I'll show you why. Here we are. Because this drainage out here um, does get blocked because we haven't got any guard over it. So this is for the washing machine and the dishwasher and waste pipe. So I need to get all that out. But yeah, so these are the three plants that we need to repot. We will get on with doing that in a second. Look at you. Look at you just chilling. starting to drizzle with rain but I'm just gonna persevere because I feel like if I wait for the rain to stop I'm never gonna get this done so we're just gonna continue and luckily the Soundcore Boom 2 speaker is waterproof so we can just crack on I've kind of uncovered everything ah <laughs> this is the chaos but it's fine so I'm gonna get the roof bit covered just temporarily and then I think I'm actually going to build these inside because they're going to get a bit mucky if I try and do it out here. And then, um, yeah, it's covered in mud. So let's get cracking on with this. First things first, grab the ladders. This is home ownership, folks. Okay, let me turn Beyonce down. I feel like she's the only person who can get me through fixing this shit. <laughs> right, second attempt now. I'm fully screwed it in. So we've patched up the holes and the rain should just drip off. I mean, it's still not going to be perfect, but it just means hopefully this can dry out in the warmer months and um, yeah, we can get some organization going on. So that's job one done. Of course, the sun has now decided to shine the minute I've come back inside and fixed the roof. <laughs> Set of 
shelves built. I might actually get a second pair of these just because I feel like for the price they're really good and quite sturdy as well. I imagine with things stacked on them. I had to have a diet cold brick because sometimes you just need it. Right to the shed we go. Okay, about an hour has passed and the shed is done. I'm very happy. The roof is all sorted and here we are. So this little pile of leaves, I'm actually gonna keep and dry out so we can use that. I've been told they're really useful so I don't wanna chuck them away. So that's this little pile there. But here we are, so this is everything. It's not, I mean, do you know what? I actually think I'm gonna get a second set of these shelves. I did think I'd need two, but it's miraculous how much you accumulate, but I can't really see us getting much more than what we've got here. So these are the deck chairs we had when we first moved into the house before we even had, I don't know, like a sofa. <laughs> um, we've got some little bits and bobs here, like a helmet for when we go cycling and some picnic baskets. Down here is paint and rollers and expanding form, just random things. This we'll use in summer, I'm sure. Wellies. We've got gardening bits here, so Zara's gloves, my gloves, trowels, spare vases and car cleaning stuff. These are all of my tools. So I've got like a mitre saw there, screws, another toolbox, a drill, and then just got things like rope and miscellaneous stuff, blue gloves, that kind of thing. And then down there is barbecue stuff. So we've got coal and fire lighters and that kind of thing, tongs, a little rake, ladders, more car things, gas for the pizza oven, which is here, fully cleaned and all done. Kettlebells, if we want to do a little summer workout. And these are just sheets that we use when we paint and little Christmas tree thing, just random stuff. But um, yeah, it's all sorted now. I know a lot of you really were hopeful for the shed, but even the floor is completely caving out, if you can say that. But ah, job done, and hopefully now that will be watertight just to get us through the next couple of months of rain. And then we can look to dismantle this and kind of plan what we're going to put in this position because all of this needs to be cleared away because all of this is just broken and what we were left with, unfortunately. Okay, it's time for a coffee. Zara's home, by the way. She just completely... Oh, did you show <laughs> No! <laughs> so I'm just about to repot some of the plants and Zara's just been... Basically, these are sunflowers and she bought them the other day and she's trying to obviously start the seeds off so she gave them a little spritz, but... Because our windowsills are quite narrow, they fell off, so... Um, and the best part is, I didn't realise they'd fallen off. Yeah. I just carried about my day, and Luke asked me why my sunflowers were on the floor. Because <laughs> I brought my herb garden. I promise I didn't do it. I brought my herb garden in to kickstart this, and then, um, yeah, it was it toppled over, so... So I was in a little replant, but that's fine. I feel like I've really turned the corner. Like, the other day, I went to the shop, and I ended up coming home with plants. Yeah. I mean, I think my my con has always been turned. You've never been young. I've never been young. I'm an old soul. But I like being an old soul. Would you like to show my glasses? Sarah also got glasses. This is this is 26. This is 26. Some, sunflower planting and new glasses. These are very nice. Mm, the you other look, ones are. You look very studious. <gasps> oh. See? I look kind of saucy. Sauce. No, I'm joking. Oh. Do you know what I think? Yeah, it's you like... do. Yeah, you do. You look very, um, you're very studious. Studious, exactly. Um, so we're gonna have a coffee, a quick coffee break before I get back outside. Our dog walkers just came for Maggie. I feel like every time I vlog, we have a dog walker. We only have her once a week. I know, one time a week. Um, but it just helps out on days like today when we've got a lot to do. And I wasn't meant to be home. Zara wasn't meant to be home, but her day kind of aligned. So um, yeah. Our dog walk has taken Maggie out for a nice hour long walk. Maggie loves it, so I'm gonna get cracking on with planting. And then I need to film dinner because I think you guys will see it coming up. I've got a recipe video coming of three delicious recipes, so I need to film the last one today. And then breathe. <laughs> oh, it's been a day. Do you want a cup of tea? So I picked this up the other day and um, I went to Devon with some friends for a little trip and I got this. This is a gold bar, but it's a new flavor. It's a billionaire's, billions wafer gold bar. So thought we could try that. Zara bought this home. It's a Kit Kat chunky Biscoff flavor. I've never had that before. So we're gonna do, let's do, do you like gold bars? Yeah, I love them. Oh my God, I okay. usually go out my way to buy No, same. I used to devour them as a child, which is no surprise. And um, I, I was a chunky child. But um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna give these a try. 
I need as fuel and sustenance to plant. Sarah's coming for a taste test as well. Thank you for getting this. You want to try yours so first? so open. They just snap, they come in sections. It's quite a big section. Yeah. No, no, and then you'd snap your own. Oh, are you sharing that? No. Oh, okay. All right, so this is the Kit Kat Chunky with. Oh, it smells good. Oh, biscuit. can I just please discuss that? I have so many layers bunched under here. Oh! Oh my god. It's good! Oh my goodness, guys, the filling, it's got Biscoff in there. Look at that. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm. That's the best they've created so far. I could eat about five of them. No, this doesn't have the same crack. Is it not? No. It's going to be the same, because this is all gooey at the top. Is it? There you go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that it's is like good. It's like that in reverse. I love gold bars. Mm. Let me know in the comments if you've had gold bars before because I'm not, I don't know if they're just a UK thing. Mm. And then yesterday? McBiscuits. Mm. I know. Which piece would you like to finish? The Kit Kat. Okay, I'm going to have my... Oh, guys, delicious. Right, fueled up, made a coffee. Sorted some... my plants. I'm going to do some replanting. Okay, I'm gonna get on with some planting. I've got my compost, I've got the garden gloves, trowel, I've got some plant food, and my sound core boom two speaker. So let's get cracking. done we have replanted and repotted everything I think I've done it right <laughs> I mean it's hard to tell but that squeaking is Maggie she's found a ball in the garden and she's loving it she just got back from her dog walk excuse me miss Maggie do you think you could just like hang fire with that just while I finish filming this clip <laughs> not possible dad I just love the sound when I'm trying to work. yeah it's really cool um, so these are all ready to go back to Christy and Simon, they're all done. And then, um, yeah, all of these have been watered. I've just brushed up. My back is in agony. <laughs> um, I understand why people have like potting sheds and stuff like that, but yeah, I think I need to get a better stance when I'm replanting re and repotting. But yeah, I've put them in slightly larger pots and um, the roots are fully buried now. So hopefully once they've had a bit of rain, they'll perk back up. And um, yeah, everything's looking nice and vibrant. This was from you, and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but he says it will grow back. So I'm having faith with that one. But yeah, it's all done. This one I didn't do a great job of repotting just because it was a bit loose. The soil was kind of sludgy. So um, I've buried the roots as deep as I can. But yeah, that one I don't have hope for, but we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen when these ones is empty. And then um, these shrubs I've replanted, they're not going to stay in there forever. It's just a temporary pot until um, we do some digging. Okay, about an hour has passed. <laughs> Maggie and she's still, still has the ball. I just finished the last recipe of a midweek meal video. Sorry, I don't even know. <laughs> it's very confusing when you're vlogging and also filming a separate video. So, I'm giving you guys a sneak preview this is a super greens pasta it's orecchiette with a nice toasted garlic and thyme breadcrumb topping and i just tried it and it was absolutely superb i just need to clean up and do the dishes and set the dishwasher away and then um that's it i can have a minute i feel like it's been a busy day but achieved a lot and um, i was going to go to the recycling center but i think it closes in half an hour i'm probably not going to make it in time so i'll take those tomorrow and i also need to do the dreaded job of going to pick up maggie's poop <laughs> Because I don't know how a small dog produces so much. Oh, good, good. Uh, now it's gonna be. A, I was literally just about to say now it's gonna be a luminous screen. Maggie, I think it's probably time we can get rid of that. Do you? No. <laughs> she knows that you take. Can we? Can we? No. Oh, no, she thinks you're gonna throw it. No, darling, this this is silly. Now you're gonna look like the Grinch. Okay, so we just finished um, a program we've been watching called Breathless. It's breathtaking. breathtaking. Sorry, I always get these things wrong. Breathtaking. Um, 
not a positive watch, I'm not gonna lie, and um, I think it's just gonna be in the UK, but it was like a three part um, drama about COVID and kind of like the Life Insider Award in the NHS, and it wasn't, we obviously know how bad it was, but sorry, my car just filled up, so I had to go get another one. Um, yeah, it wasn't a positive watch, but it just, I mean, if that doesn't encourage you to vote, I don't know what does, that's all I'll say. Anyway, um, what was a positive watch last night was, we went to the cinema, I'm just gonna put it there while I pull the pasta out. Call, uh, we went to the cinema to watch a film called Wicked Little Letters with um, Olivia Coleman in and I actually really loved it. It was hilarious. Um, is that melted enough for you? Yeah, I think Yeah? Um, I thought it was so funny. It's kind of like a comedy period. Just, yeah, I thought it was really, really hilarious. And um, Olivia Coleman's just brilliant in it. It just really is like belly laughing. Bit silly, but in a good way. Um, so I thoroughly recommend watching that. We had a bit of leftover grated mozzarella in the fridge, so I've just sprinkled that on and chucked it in the oven for like 15 minutes just to crisp up on top. So yeah, we're gonna dig on in. That's a big helping. For me. <laughs> <laughs> the reality. For me. For me. For me. Okay, dinner was actually really delicious. I had second helpings and it was just so good. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. We're actually gonna play a game of banana grams. I haven't got better at this, I'm not gonna lie. We played it in Devon last week and um, everyone was brilliant at it and I lost every single time. So what does that say about me? I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. I feel like it's been quite garden heavy, but um, yeah, it's all very exciting. I'm just really ready for some warmer weather. So let me know if you've got any garden plans and what you're gonna be doing this year. I really think they're gonna bloom beautifully, so keep an eye out in a couple of months time. But lots of love to you all, take care, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.